Hi guys, this is Frenchie. Today I want to make a tutorial about beauty looks and how to achieve these kind of looks very easily. My method is very simple and I try to keep uh, my number of nodes very low so then like I can extend all my grade to a timeline very easily and very fast. So guys, I leave you with the tutorial. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more tutorials and more tips uh, for colorists in their color grading journey. Drop a like, drop a comment, you know, I really like to have like some suggestion, you know, from everybody. And yeah, enjoy! So here we are guys in our timeline. Um, so I advise you if you want to practice with me to take footages that don't have a lot of shadows on the face because anyway, uh, if you have a commercial to grade uh, on beauty products and beauty, beauty shots, um, the DP will like take care of the face and uh, you would normally don't have a lot of uh, uh, shadows and harsh lighting going on on the face um, because it has to stay soft for the skin to be perfect so um, yeah if you want like to practice at the same time as me uh, the best uh, tool is to find like yeah footages that have like a very soft lighting and a very gentle lighting on the skin so uh, what I have done so far is uh, I created a group uh, so I'm just going to show you my color space. I will work in a DaVinci white gamut color space. Uh, and uh, my output color space is a Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. Uh, why we are going to the DaVinci white gamut? Uh, it's just because as like beauty shots has to be very bright. Um, DaVinci white gamut like will uh, bring us more room to um, affect the brightness. And we will have more manipulation possible uh, for our image before it clip. Uh, so we are in DaVinci White Gamut. This implies that like you have to make a sandwich uh, of a CST. So I have done this sandwich already. Uh, I created a group between these two shots. So this is also a tip that is quite useful like when you grade, uh, is creating groups. So just to create group, you just like select everything and uh, you add, add it into a new group. When it's done, uh, it's gonna create um, some section of group pre-clip and group post-clip. So what I have done is just like in a pre-clip, uh, I just like put my Sony S gamut to DaVinci Y gamut and uh, on my last clip so post clip uh, we are going from DaVinci Y gamut to Rec. 709 so we are in the middle of our sandwich and we're going to create a parallel node um, so I explained like uh, multiple times why we are creating a parallel node just like because it's fed to the source so it's easier to uh, manipulate our colors so uh, we're just going to go uh, do our balance so this is the lgg if like put lgg so we want something very bright but at the same time we need to uh, respect uh, the image so just go like this to just open up the image i don't want something super lifted like this i don't want something super uh, bright like this like super gamish so I just want something natural and yeah so by opening the image we created like harsh highlights that going on on the face to clean this up we just are gonna create a node before uh, node label HDR and we're gonna use our HDR wheels just like to tone down the light so just go on light and go down go down just like to have if you see just to have a smooth face so this is before when there was like the the hdr wheels that were not used and this is after when i use the hdr just like to 
tone down the, the light and the highlights. So what I advise at this point, when we did our balance and uh, we controlled our highlights, uh, is just like to watch the image to um, analyze how we're gonna make uh, the skin look perfect. So what I can advise, uh, it's actually to create a lot of separation between uh, the colors uh, on the set. So if you see, for example, here in this frame, we have already some separation with like a blue background and uh, her skin, but I kind of feel, and this is very subjective, uh, it has to be, um, you know, like it, it really depends on your taste and on your director's uh, vision and direction, but this color doesn't really complement the color of her skin uh, this is gonna be a yeah, color boost and a contrast node because i'm gonna give you a tip more you raise your color boost less you add contrast because otherwise like it's uh, a very bold look that will be created so for example when i raise my color boost i raise it I have the contrast that is quite uh, harsh, you know, that's going on on her, on her face. So I'm just going to go to my contrast node and I'm just going to reduce the contrast. So it's a bit more gentle. So we have our primaries done. Now we're going to go to our secondaries. Secondaries is going to be skin tone and this uh, wool color that we can change. So I'm just going to separate them. Uh, node label skin and uh, this one is going to be gold so the skin I want something a bit more pink uh, so we just are going to go a bit more towards the red side on the color wrapper so why I take this line is just like because um, this is the spectrum of the skin and uh, just like for you to have a view I'm just gonna go to the vector scope and I'm just gonna go to the line. So her skin is actually in the line, but I want something a tiny bit more pink, just like for my taste. And so for the skin, we went like from this to this. So it's a bit more alive, there's a bit more things going on. Um, so for the wool, I'm just gonna go see where it's, it is. So we see that like it's in this blue spectrum. So I'm just going to take this blue spectrum and go down. And actually I want something a bit more. So I'm just going to get like the blue spectrum just up there and see. And so the contrast is creating uh, is pleasing for me. But then like I feel like the skin could be a bit more pinkish you know, uh, compared to the wall uh, that is uh, behind. So what we can do is like take back our spectrum here and go a bit more saturated and go a bit more pink. But then like just, just watch, you know, uh, we don't want to overdo things. So you just watch your vector scope at the same time and you see if it's like something that you like that is going on okay so i think i like what's going on here i think i like it uh, let's see in this frame and i'm just gonna go uh, remove the nodes so this is like without the wool and the skin and this is with the wool and the skin uh i really like what's going on in this image because then like i i have more life in the skin tone and uh, i have um more freshness you know coming out from the wool because i i just felt like you know the colors that was going on uh in the background was not as pleasing as what's going on uh here okay so after this uh, that we've done the skin and the wool, we can uh, create a vignette just like to bring her a bit more. So I'm just going to come back to the waveform, like to see what's going on. 
Um, so I'm just going to create a vignette around her to see where we just like bring her up. Okay. And then I'm going to create an outside where I just bring down a slight because uh, we still want to stay quite bright. So if you see, this is before, this is after, before and after. So it brings up uh, more uh, brightness and also like uh, more life to the character. So uh, actually this is, uh, I'm just gonna label that a vignette. So this is our uh, grade for beauty, beauty look. And so what is good uh, with what we've done is like as we haven't keyed anything uh, as like we also like uh, didn't um, put so many windows or you know like uh, did really really micro micro adjustment uh, then we can just take the next footage that is actually the product and copy and paste and we kind of have a continuity of course, I need to uh, just readjust. So if you see uh, the skin, yeah, actually the skin, we can uh, keep it just like because there's a hand at the beginning. But uh, I can go to contrast and add a bit more contrast because for this one, like we just want to have a nice contrast for the product. So if you see that was before, and now this is after. So we have a nice contrast going on. And so my vignette, what I can do is just like resize it. And what we can do is add some sharpness inside the vignette. I just recommend to go like not over 47 because otherwise it's like overkill. Like it's overkill, <laughs> you know? So 47. So my, my um, product is sharper. So then like we have a nice product going on. So if for example, we just like watch the two clips next to each other, this and this, we have a nice continuity. That's it guys. Uh, this is my uh, simple beauty tutorial. <laughs> yeah. um, I feel like uh, more simple you stay, uh, better it is because when you start to have like too many nodes, going on uh, especially for beauty looks uh, it can be really overwhelming and uh, it can really damage actually the, the footage so uh, stay simple but at the same time uh, be smart in your grade uh, just watch like what's going on in the image and what can you uh, uh, do around for example your main character just to enhance uh, the skin because actually in beauty looks, the skin is the most important. This is actually the main character of uh, the commercial. So then you need to take care of the skin. So I hope it helps. I hope like you can, you know, like get some uh, practice going on and uh, you will have fun like with your footage. I see you next week. See you guys.